What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P. Today we're going to be checking out the brand new 2018 LG Gram with a 15.6 inch touchscreen display. This thing is insanely powerful and weighs just around two pounds, so it's insanely light and thin. This is a really interesting laptop that I've been loving. So following up from my coverage at CES, if you guys remember, at the LG booth, I did a little preview of this, so I was really pumped when I got my hands on it. I claimed last year's 2017 model as one of the best laptops for students, and they've made some great improvements this year all across the board. The model I have is the dark silver color with a 15.6 inch display. You can also get these in a 13 inch model and they're sold in a white color variant as well. So the choice is yours. Now, just one of the big selling points about these laptops and given its size, is it's such a lightweight construction here. This is gonna be great for students and you're carrying it around all day. You can put it in your backpack and it's really not gonna be that much heavier than like a notebook or something. So that is just a big plus. And the reason it is so lightweight is due to the construction. It's made of this metal alloy with a nanocarbon and magnesium construction. So it's gonna be durable while also keeping the weight down. And that also means we're not even sacrificing something like battery. They have a four cell lithium ion battery inside. It is 72 watt and it can last up to 16 and a half hours. Now weighing in, my 15.6 inch LG Gram comes in at just around 1100 grams, which is you know just around two pounds. But you compare that now to my 13 inch MacBook Pro, which is considerably smaller, and that is 1360 grams. So you're saving a lot of weight and it is a bigger screen. When talking connectivity on the right side, we have two USB 3.0s, a headphone jack, and a micro SD slot. Then on the left side, you have your charging port, another USB, a HDMI out, and Thunderbolt 3.0. And the reason why Thunderbolt 3 is so great is because it's still one of the quickest connections out there. You can do things like plug in monitors and hell, even for gaming, if you want, plug in an external graphics card adapter and game away with that. It's a really great addition to laptops. And I feel like all 2018 laptops from here on out should really have this inclusion. Now you can't open this with one hand comfortably, which is good. And the hinge is just buttery smooth. The way it's construction, everything lines up very nicely. So we got some pretty solid craftsmanship here. Now let's talk about the goods with the keyboard and the trackpad. Since there is no left and right click, the trackpad does act as that button where you can click on it. You'll get a tactile click once you do. I would say, however, though, uh, the metal trackpad does have some natural friction due to your skin. It's not that big of a deal. A lot of laptops are like this, but I would have liked the trackpad to have been a little bit smoother. Now let's talk about the keyboard, and you are still getting those chiclet style keys that we've seen you know, on previous LG Gram laptops, and a lot of laptops at this size, where you have the very minimal travel distance, and you do get some nice feedback while you're typing. One of the things that I'm a big fan of is now you also have you know, dedicated backlighting, just with the function F8 button to turn that on at nighttime if you want, but it doesn't end there. They even included a full out numpad on this model, which I rarely see on laptops. And you have a lot of options with the function row as well, things like adjusting the volume, the brightness, like I said before, your key brightness, bringing up the LG control center, all that stuff. And yet another addition from last year is the fingerprint reader on the power button. Last year it was embedded into the side of the trackpad, but now it's on the power button, which means the second you go to turn it on, it'll recognize your fingerprint and you can immediately sign in with Windows Hello. It just makes the whole sign-in process really quick and easy, and obviously that's gonna mean you have a lot more protection now. Next up is the screen itself. I mentioned before, our screen size is 15.6 inches. It is an IPS display, but it is still 1920 by 1080p, so no real jump in resolution this year, unfortunately. However, bezels are much more slimmed down, and it's a very, very tiny bezel on each side. Always nice to see that. It's nearly an edge-to-edge -edge display. Just makes it look a lot better as a whole. It's a really nice screen, I'd say. And like last year, we still have a nice built-in touchscreen. This is something that I, you know, don't realize how much I like until I have a laptop that takes advantage of it. And again, just for students, whether it's, you know, jotting things down, taking quick notes, flipping through your PDF textbook or something, I always like touchscreen, but it does now mean we are gonna have some wobble and it is gonna introduce some sort of flex with your screen. But again, due to that light body, this is where some of the sacrifices are gonna come into play. Um, you are gonna see a considerable amount of flex, which, I mean, it's just one of the sacrifices. 
Then lastly, before we move on, they also made changes to the webcam. Last year, it was on the bottom of the hinge. This year, it's right where it should be on the top of the display on the top bezel there. So that's good because no longer will you be Skyping with your friends or talking to family, and they won't have to see a live feed of your chin anymore. Hashtag no chelfie. But even though it's still 980 by 1080p, uh, pixel density was just fine, and it's overall a really nice, bright, and colorful screen. Really no complaints on my end. I think it looks just fine. Then saving the best for last, let's talk about specs. Inside for the CPU is an 8th gen Intel i7 8550U CPU at 1.8 gigahertz, but could be overclocked to four gigahertz. And that's up there with newer, uh, you know, higher end CPUs on the market. For memory, we have 16 gigs of RAM. And for hard drive space, we're rocking two 512 gigabyte M.2 SSDs for one terabyte of M.2 blazing fast storage. So with all things considered, at the end of the day, this is a beast of a laptop, all packed into a very small and thin, lightweight body. If you wanna win one of these, LG's hosting their very own LG Gram sweepstake. You can enter to win on either Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. I'll have all the links as well as some more details in the description down below. You can win your very own LG Gram, and they're also giving away some Amazon gift cards. So if you're interested, check the links in the description down below, but this thing is just shining all across the boards. So altogether, this thing is a beast. I haven't really seen a laptop like this with these specs that is just so thin and lightweight. That's you know, how the LG Gram gets its name from being so lightweight. I'm really impressed with what they've done this year. They made a ton of great improvements. Like I said, for one of the really only cons is that screen wobble, but again, with the construction of this to make it so light, there has to be some sort of sacrifices and it's not that really a big of a deal. The other, only other con I'll mention for this is that the speakers, they are bottom firing as they're on the bottom of the laptop. They still sound decent, and I know for me, I usually use headphones and stuff, so it's not really a deal breaker, and it should sound just fine, uh, but I just want to point that out there. Everything else, though, I'm loving. I'm very impressed, and they've made some great, great improvements over last year's LG Gram model. So if you're interested, you want to check it out for your student, and you need something like this, I'll definitely have it listed for you in the description down below. And also, like I said, if you want to be entered to win one of these with the Hurl LG Gram sweepstakes, they got some pretty cool campaigns going on. I'll have it listed for you down below as well. If you liked the video, definitely give it a thumbs up to show your support. Feel free to follow me on Twitter, at RandomFrankP. And last, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. I'm RandomFrankP. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good day.